What happened to Legends? Oh yeah, the <laughs> Damien Dark. Perfect. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's uh, Legends of Tomorrow, and last time we had an uh, episode dedicated to Nora and Ray and Damien Dark. Uh, he came back from, he was an encore, he came back from the dead, and he was checking in on Nora, and she was pretending that <laughs> she was still evil, and she had minions, and she owned this big house. Uh, but eventually it all, you know, the truth came out. She's in love with Ray, and Damien, he was okay with it, eventually. He had, he had to be talked into it, but um, yeah. By the end of the episode, he was... He said, he said his goodbyes, took the sword of of Khan, and killed himself. So, it was a nice little episode. Uh, Nora and Ray got married. And, yeah. It was, it was sort of bittersweet. Happy and sad at the same time. I think this week we'll probably get back to the, the thrust of the, the plot. Uh, maybe more on the loom of fate, and more of Charlie and, you know, what's going on there. Uh, but who knows? So let's check it out. So the question is, will Ray want to leave the ship to be with Nora? Is he going away? And, uh... Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Cute, you have a troll. This your kid. Oh, yeah. Kid too. I forgot about this part. In the real world. <laughs> I need you to support Mixed daughter. Her. She can't do it. Hey, Ray. Going through his greatest hits. How could you leave Nate? Morning. Maybe it's time for us to move on and move out. So I think I'll do one last mission with the team. Ooh, one last mission. Come on, is she still in there? Yep. Sorry, there's a line. I'm doing my hair. You can't stop the glam routine mid process. Come on, we talked about this. Ooh, is there only one bathroom sorry. on the ship? Huh? In other announcements, she's still in there. <laughs> I would be too if I had all that damn hair. Where's Nate? Okay, well, uh, this is the perfect time now that we're all here. You're moving out. Hmm? How'd you know that? Thank you, Mick. Well, you got married. Next logical step in a relationship. I heard you two going at it like jackrabbits last night. <laughs> yeah, at least someone's getting it. <laughs> <laughs> at least someone's Look, after. Getting... Oh, how are you gonna tell Nate? Tell Nate what? What? Oh, everybody has to keep a secret from Nate. The wait for the bathroom is upwards of 30 minutes. Can you believe it? Well, at least I get to wait in line with a happy new couple. Nora, welcome to your new morning routine, Uptown. <laughs> He's going to make it so hard for them to tell him. There you are. Uh, Mona? Mona. So what's new? Any torrid affairs, flourishing romance? I have a daughter. No. Becca Silver has been besieged by a troll. Forget about her. I mean him. <laughs> However. Well, I whoever. tried that. Yeah, we're continuing with that story. I just have to wait for the perfect moment, you know? Look, I there isn't gonna be a perfect get it moment. over with, and then you guys can enjoy your last hoorah together. Sarah's yeah. correct. Sing. Enjoy the jolly old London, ya blokes. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> that was... That was bad. Nope. I'm frankly offensive. Sana <laughs> guy, it's Will the Quill. You didn't tell me you were friends with the real William Shakespeare. Oh, I don't want to name drop. Hey, William Shakespeare. See, a stubborn case of writer's block is preventing me from finding the ending to my new play, Romeo and Juliet. In the ring. Has anybody in read it? From Discussing Romeo and Juliet in Elizabethan England. <sighs> Ava, you needed me? What a coincidence. Club is magic. <laughs> what she means is book club is a place where you can hang out with drink. your friends and talk about your problems. And drink. Well, Sarah, according girl to after my own heart. Now I can see the ring on his hand. I doubt he's going to give it up so easily. Ah, uh, that's simple. I'll come on the head. goons and I'll punch the producer in the face. Mick knows. Uh, anyway, so I say... Aerial attack. I'll repel down while he's totally <laughs> Mission distracted. Impossible. Love it. And then I'll repel next to Nate. And then we'll high five midair and it will be epic. And then. Wait, Ray, are you crying? Oh, it's man. just a. I love this plan. Now you got wild dog and we. Oh, wait. Story time's over. I got it. 
How the hell did you do that? What just nicked off his arm while you lot were prowling on? Does that mean the mission, mission is over? over. Which Wait, where are you going? On my honeymoon. No. You're gonna be gone for weeks. I didn't even throw you a proper bachelor party. Because this bachelor party is gonna be an Elizabethan extravaganza. Shouldn't we be throwing her a belated bachelor? We should. Bash? What is John this could be funny. is walking topside. Speaking Turn of people stage. who aren't funny, I need a leverage. I'd have a family again. Don't tell this one. She's evil. If there's a way to discover what he's after, maybe you could get it for yourself. Thank you for this uh, bachelor party. You're the yeah, best friend a uh, guy could have. No. No. Because you are. You are. <laughs> Is there any. Let's go to the boots. Oh, pony. Where, where did they get him? It's the loom of fate. Right, once we piece it all together, we'll be right as no. life. Who's there? He can sense it. Cool. Hey, Perfect. Leave him alone. Ooh. Meanwhile, Shakespeare's like, this could be a good ending. Astra? Well, she found out what he was, what it is. Yo, we better mind wipe that dude. I got it. <laughs> no, it's pointing the wrong way. I got it. Let's head back to the ship. <laughs> this is gonna pose ripples. Shakespeare is writing superhero plays? Oh, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah, dude. Is he the I new, cannot believe new you team guys. member? Lie to me. You don't lie to me. <laughs> They're still so drunk. So why to why you could just you could go party? Uh, but Mercutio turns to steel. What? Well, thanks to you. Guys. Why haven't you told Nate that you're leaving? The moment I tell him, then this all it's becomes real. real. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm really ready for it. I miss you, Captain Lance. They're like OGs. Me cry. I'm gonna miss you too, Ray. A lot. Come here. So Sarah and Nick left of the original crew. This is silver. Fists <laughs> like thunder strikes. We must collect the gems yeah. to save the world while learning how to work more as a team. Yes. <laughs> Come here. We have much to exactly, discuss. Exactly. Exactly. I don't want Romeo and Juliet's story to end. Exactly. I love the characters, so why say goodbye? Well, if the Ray and the Nate are wrong. They deserve a great ending. When I'm done here, I am leaving Ooh, my team he's gonna say for it. a new adventure. And ending our journey has proven more heartbreaking than I can bear. And while I can't imagine saying goodbye, I know you're leaving the team. I was gonna tell you sooner, I swear, but I, I just. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't want to upset you. Of course I'm upset. Today could have been awesome. It could have been amazing. But now it's just... It's just over. It'll be okay. Honestly, I don't know what we're going to do without his stupid optimism and blind yeah. faith. And He's the moral center of the group. That somehow always work. I know what we need to do. The show must go on. Gonna act out Romeo and Juliet? Almost as the sea. That's crap. Just say the word because <laughs> you are on. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Sit up, you uncultured jerks. <laughs> <sighs> Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona. It's where we lay our sea. Romeo and Juliet. What do you say? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what noise is this? The best rendition I've ever seen. If my heart's dear love, do not swear. Although I take joy in thee, I take no joy in this contract. See, I told you, Ray and too Nate are Romeo and Juliet. Too, I'm advised too sudden. What's wrong? I mean, other than the fact that this role clearly should have gone to a woman. I just. <laughs> Need a second, okay? What are you, what are you saying, hard. Sarah? 
You know, it's not too late to say goodbye to your friend. Move a beauteous flower when next we meet. Is that a man? Good night. <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> Good night. See. I love you. Gonna get to him in time? Gone? He's gone. Nate! Nate! I'm still here, buddy. Yeah. The thing is, I'm just really sad. But I'm really happy for you guys. This sucks. But I love you. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sorry was pretty good at Juliet. I mean, not as good as you, but. <laughs> well, if you, um, you ever need a bro hug, <laughs> I'm a gal. Oh, why are you so strong? You should talk to your daughter. There's no secrets in book club. I'm not hiding from her. I'm protecting her. From what? Me. Emily. But I'm better off because I had you in my life. She will be too. Consent to hug you? Just one, Mona. Just Gonna one. Gonna take that as a yes. Like, get out of here. Hey, Astra, you okay? What did you see? He's looking for the loom of fate. The loom of fate is one of the most powerful tools in existence. It could completely rewrite your life. One else's hands. She one of the fates, maybe? Especially John Constantine. How early does a guy have to get up to get <laughs> some alarm time? <laughs> Raise green juice. You're present. How'd you get up, babe? Everybody's up. It's awake anyway. Quickly get to the bathroom before Zari gets other up. Other people would be up. To Ray. To, Ray. to the big guy. To Ray. To Ray. To Ray. Mm. <coughs> Tastes like death. Delicious. <laughs> Rush to the bathroom. Bathroom sign out, Chief. That was episode seven of Legends of Tomorrow. It was sad. It was sort of happy, but a lot sad with Ray, Ray's last mission, and the Ray Nate friendship, which is like probably the closest of any two people on the ship. Uh, so I'm glad they made a big deal of that when he was leaving. You know, they they could have gone a different way with it, but they acknowledged that their friendship is like like glue. Uh, so they made a big deal of it. Appropriately so. Um, and it was sweet. And it was sad. And I guess, look, it's not going to be the last we see of Ray. He'll be, he'll do guest appearances probably. Uh, Nobody's ever really, you know, gone forever. So that'll be something to look forward to in the future. Um, I guess that means the end of Nora's story as well, which is also sad because she was doing a great job, sometimes in multiple roles in the same episode. Um, and now I can see the story really focusing in on the loom of fate and like it focused on it pretty much in this one, like they got one of the pieces, uh, but now Astra knows about it and that, that other one in hell that I don't know the name of, she seems interested in it. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll be hopping around getting the pieces from different time periods to 
you know, go with the weekly flow of the show. So that could be fun. Um, and we also had a little bit of Mick and talking about his daughter. They've kind of convinced him that maybe he wouldn't be such a bad influence if he uh, spent some time with her. Um, and obviously he'd be he'd be great. You know, maybe not Mick from season one, but Mick from season five? Yeah, good influence. Um, so yeah, that's all I want to say. Um, it was emotional and funny and good good mix of that. Hijinks and some building of the arc for later in the season. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.